next up is The Showman, sponsored by the Giants of Rock in Butlins. When I think of Giants, I think of Butlins. Yes, Butlins. Holiday camps. I want to go on holiday in Butlins. Great. Killer. I uh, just got this in. There's some news here. A 15-ton lump of putrid fat and toilet waste has been dislodged from the London sewers. And he's here tonight, Mr. Phil Jupitus. <laughs> whose best years are now behind him, I can't understand. <laughs> so, <laughs> seems, seems to not fit in at all. The nominations for best Calypso B-side are. <laughs> okay, um, so I've got, to, so I've got to give an award now, written a speech. Well, I've not written a speech, I've written three short poems. So we'll go with the high Q first. You seem like a high Q crowd to me. It's a classic Japanese form. Five syllables, seven syllables, five syllables. It's a high Q about tonight's award winner. A mirrored top hat might just have saved the life of Abraham Lincoln. Which would be nice. That's the, that's the high Q. That's a lovely short poem. Moving on to the limerick. The limerick is a short poetry form we're all very familiar with. It's got a lovely rhythm and bounce to it. So I've written a limerick for tonight's showman, which goes uh, like this. <clears throat> a 70s pop star called Holder made Christmas warm and not colder. <laughs> But I'll say about Noddy that one part of his body is so long to get in, it's a folder. <laughs> okay, that's the limerick. That's the limerick. The second and very popular poetry form there. Finally, we close with a more obscure, the clerigue, a short form of poetry developed by E.C. Bentley, the poet in the 1920s. The clerigue has to has rules. It is an AABB rhyme scheme and it has to be biographical and it has to have the name of the person whom it's about. Okay, so let's try the cleric you. All of tonight's material written on the C2C line between Leon C and Fenchurch Street Station. <laughs> so you know it's quality. Slade singer Noddy Holder with dignity grows older platform boots now on shoe trees and not investigated by you tree <laughs> that's, that's the clarity view and what a bullet dodge there for anybody from the 70s to be frank <laughs> like a scattergun of perversion. <laughs> I was staying one night at uh, the uh, Lang Langham Hotel for our broadcasting house, and I'd been doing a gig, and I turned up at the Langham, and I walk into the lobby, and there, in a fucking amazing tartan three-piece suit, is Holder. And I go, no, no, you're right, mate. You're all right, Phil, how's it going, mate? You're all right, you're all right. You're all right. And I went, I went, um, I went, what are you doing? As I've been doing a gig down the road, I've been doing a gig. I went, do you fancy a beer? He went, oh, I can't, mate, I can't. I can't. I'd love to, Phil, I'd love to. But I've got an early chat in the morning. And I'm like, oh, never mind, mate. Good to see you. Good to see you. Like that. So I went, I went to bed, went to bed. Went to bed, went to my room. Five minutes later, the phone. <laughs> Hello? Phil, it's not me. I'm in the bar. So... <laughs> The level of fucking commitment that he had <laughs> to his train. 
and two hours, and he was so massively indiscreet, about fucking dozens of people in this room. <laughs> I don't know how you can sit there. I mean, literally. I don't know how you can sit there. <laughs> the showman, sponsored by Giants of Rock, open brackets, butt lens, close brackets. <laughs> I wish they told me before I'd have worn a fucking red jacket. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, one of the loveliest men I've ever met doing this fucking mental job, Noddy Holder. <laughs> I thought, well, that'll be all right, you know. I've always been a show-off. And I started in bands way back in the early 60s. I've been a professional musician for over 50 years now. And the Midlands was a great place to grow up playing music. Lots of bands around. And I don't know whether Jimmy knows this, but Robert Plant's first band was a band called Listen. And when my band at the time wasn't working, I used to drive his band around and set up the gear for them because they hadn't got a van in my dad's window cleaning van. <laughs> so Robert actually learned to shag birds <laughs> in the back of my dad's window cleaning van <laughs> amongst the ladders and the buckets swaying about. That's where he became a rock god. <laughs> Thanks for this award anyway, thank you very much. Much appreciated. Keep on rocking! <laughs> Got to take me poems. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to your host, Chris Now. We will continue wrestling with the material. <laughs> <laughs> 